This video looks at how to differentiate parametric equations. So far then, the resources mainly focus on cases where a function is simply defined in the form something like y equals f of x or w equals g of z or something similar. That is, we have a single expression with two variables. Sometimes, however, the relationship between two variables exp is expressed through parametric equations, that is, it involves a third variable. So here's a simple example. You could have y defined as sine omega t and x defined as cos omega t. So here we've got a third variable, which is t. How are we going to find the derivative of the curve, which is y against x? So here's an example of parametric equations which you're probably fairly familiar with and that is the equation of a circle. So here you'll see I've got parametric equations x equals cos t minus 1 and y equals sine t plus 2. Now you can show that this gives the equation of a circle like this y minus 2 squared plus x plus 1 squared equals 1. You can substitute in specific values of t. You'll see if I put in t equals pi I get this point. If I put t equals naught, I get this point here. But what I'm really interested in is, how do I find the gradient for a specific value of t? So here, for example, what would be the gradient when t equals pi by 6? Here's a different example of parametric equations, which describe a hyperbola. So now I've got x equals cosh t minus 2 and y equals shine t plus 3. Now again, in this particular case, you can find an underlying expression if you want, because it's a hyperbola. You can substitute in different values of t, and you can find out where you are on the curve. But the question I'm going to ask is, what's the gradient where t equals 0.4? And finally, a slightly more challenging expression. Here, you'll see again I've got parametric equations, so x equals 0.2 plus t squared, and y equals t plus 0.4 t cubed. But in this case, there's no simple underlying expression. And what I might want to do is say, where's the gradient where t equals 2? And I don't have an underlying expression, so I can't use implicit differentiation as in the previous video. So this is how we do it. The basic method uses the underlying definition of differentiation. So you remember that by definition, dy dt is the limiting value, as delta t tends to 0, of y t plus delta t minus y of t over delta t, or you can write that if you want as the limiting value as delta t tends to 0 of delta y over delta t. In a similar fashion, you can find dx dt as a limiting value of delta x over delta t. Now, dy dx is the limiting value of delta y over delta x. And you'll notice that if we take these three expressions that we've just defined, they all have similar terms. So what I'm going to do is say that dy dx is the limiting value as delta t tends to 0 of delta y over delta t divided by delta x over delta t. And that, of course, is dy dt divided by dx dt. So what I've done here is I've derived an expression for the derivative dy dx in terms of the derivatives dy dt and dx dt. So now we'll just use this solution. So find the gradient of a curve defined with the following parametric equations. So x equals cos t minus 1, y equals sine t plus 2. So first remind ourselves of the formula. So dy dx is given by dy dt divided by dx dt. So then I calculate these two things. So dx dt is minus sine t. So obviously that's come from there. And dy dt is cos t. That's come from there. And then I just plug them into the formula. So dy dx is cos t divided by minus sine t. And you'll see the answer is in terms of t. It's not in terms of y or x. Example 2. Find the gradient of a curve defined with the following parametric equations. So again, the first thing to do is remind ourselves of the formula. If you have parametric equations, then dy dx equals dy dt 
divided by dx dt. Then I calculate these two values. So dx dt comes from here, and you'll see it's 2 shine 2t. dy dt comes from here, and you'll see it's 4 cosh 4t. I simply plug them into the formula, and I get dy dx equals 4 cosh 4t over 2 shine 2t. And again, you'll see the answer is in terms of t. What about a slightly messier example? So here, x equals t plus t squared plus sine 3t, y equals t cubed minus 1. Well, the technique is identical. Remind myself of the formula. So dy dx equals dy dt divided by dx dt. And then simply differenti differentiate each of these expressions. So dx dt equals 1 plus 2t plus 3 cos 3t. And dy dt equals 3t squared and then just plug them in. So dy dx equals 3t squared divided by 1 plus 2t plus 3 cos 3t. And again, of course, the answer is in terms of the parametric variable, which here is t. So in summary, this brief resource has derived the rule for differentiation where a curve is defined through parametric equations. So we've used things like x equals f of t, y equals g of t. And it's shown that the derivative can be defined with the following formula. So you can do dg dt divided by dft, or equivalently dy dt divided by dxd.